Hey guys, it's Matt. Boy, do I love this topic. The useless and inconsequential rewards that this reality tries to bestow on people so they believe they actually did something in life. Per Saturday's presentation, to me at least, it's a simple two-part reality. Part one is seeing through the trick, the gigantic master ruse, which pretty, we pretty much have that covered. There's not too much, there's pretty much nothing they're ever going to be able to put through. Now, at least we might disagree on what it's for or what their outcomes or aims are, but we all see through the trick. Now, in the past, I thought that was enough. It's not enough. The second part, doing the personal work, is far more important. At least that's where I stand today. And there's millions of, of ways, uh, if you really want to break it down, to consider part two. It's not just complicated shadow work and whatever we, you know, we, things we've talked about. They try to make it overly complicated. One way we're going to talk about today is, do you, is there anybody here that covets any of the the petty and insignificant or inconsequential rewards that this reality tries to bestow on somebody that did their job in life and was a good little minion and servant of the system. And of course, you know, there's a lot of ways to say you were rewarded by reality. Uh, you were a senior partner in the law firm, or you're the NFL rushing title for running backs. And literally, there could be a million ways, but the the greatest way to start this conversation, or maybe this is the most famous, are these ridiculous <laughs> rewards, British awards. Let's just, is that Ed Sheeran? Look at him. He's all proud. He, it's the, I had to research this. I don't know what this shit is. OBE, MBE is the other one. CBE. Like, what's the damn difference between, I'll tell you about the, re, the rewards, the awards. I'm adding a fourth. Or there's probably more, but I'm adding a, a fourth to the main three. Um, what is it? OSF. O the order. Okay, let me just tell you what, the the order of the British Empire is the OBE. It's only fun, the OSF's only funny if you know the names of the other ones first. MBE, member of the British Empire. CBE is higher rank. Rule. You really you really did something in life. Commander of the British Empire. I'm offering up OSF. Order of the Spiritual Flunky. If you get one of these awards and you're, I was going to say, and you're proud of it, well, there's a few people that supposedly have rejected the award. Of course, they're proud of it. If they get it, they're proud. Look at Ed Sheer in there. Look at him. What a little loser. Who's the other pro? Is that, I don't even know the guy's name. I've been calling him Cucumber Patch or Cumberbunch Patch for so long. Benjamin Cumberbun? That's something you put around your waist. I don't even know his name. I call him Cucumber Patch. They're, of course they're happy to get the award, but this is part of doing the work. Forget this award. I don't think anybody listening to the sound of my voice would ever accept one of these, or you wouldn't be at a channel like this. But any of society's rewards, I mean, we shouldn't care about literally one of them by the, you know, the going into the, the day of our, our death. We should have dropped every single covet. I mean, it has to do with money. I, mean, I guess, most, actually, I was going to say you didn't believe me, but most people believed me when I said, and it was true, but you know, it's, it's saying something if you're new to this channel. Two months ago, three months before, I said, I had one cat peeing all over the house. Puss, puss, learned from her sister to pee all over the house, pee on the trash bags. I said, I wouldn't take a billion dollars for any of these cats if somebody came and knocked on the door. Well, there was one proviso. If I was allowed to use the money for good, to help 10,000 other cats or to, you know, put up billboards trying to wake people or whatever it may be. If I just could use the money for trips to Paris, to France, and to uh, buy Lear jets and to invest in companies and to have lunch with Warren Buffett, then, you know, just buy things. And then I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't, of course, I would take it to try to do good. That, that kind of goes without saying. Um, I wouldn't take it for a cat. I was peeing all over my house. So it, it, I'm, I'm done much better here. I don't care. I basically, you know, I don't care about life's rewards or I don't, I basically don't leave the house. I don't give a one shit about any sort of prestige status or anything this reality can throw at me. And many of you, you know, say yelling back at me, Matt, I've been there for years. That's some, that's no great accomplishment. You son of a beach. I hear you, but this is just part of the work. So much things that we can drop here. This is part of dropping baggage and dropping 
covet. I didn't even know what that word meant till Silence of the Lambs. What do we do? What does he do? What do we do every day, Clarice? I guess it was back in was it the late 80s. He, we covet what we see every day. Like, what the hell does that mean? We covet what we see every day. I had to go look it up. All right, the metals, the plastic metals are, <laughs> are in the middle there. Let's do it one more time. The MBE is the lowest. That ain't shit. It's the member of British Empire, MBE. It's given to like soccer goalies. There's people on Manchester United soccer football that have gotten it, rock and rollers. Um, there's Rod Stewart, top right. He There are some, I'll, I'll, there are some rock and rollers that have an OBE. Most get the MBE because that ain't shit. And Elton John, as doing this research, I found out, he has the CBE. He might be the only rock and roller to get the C. He has the, well, that's the commander of the British Empire. That's the highest. He, he was knighted a long time ago, you know, in the 90s, Elton John. But then he just keeps getting higher and higher rank. Well, he hasn't done shit since Benny and the Jets. What are they, why would they be giving him a higher rank? What did he do? Oh, he's on tour now. But talk about stalled century. As I was researching him and whatever his plastic medal is, he's on tour now. Is anybody surprised? Getting back to the reason for this video, the much more important part, part two is doing the work. And what happened? I was watching the Masters Golf Tournament finish up on Sunday. The Masters Golf Tournament is considered by many or most to be the biggest in the world. Some would argue the British Open, whatever. Oh, sorry, the Open. So this guy, John Rahm from Spain, wins the Masters. And I felt myself kind of going through the process that I would go through 10 or 15 years ago watching this guy win the Masters. And it has to do with covet or the fantasy of what it would be like to be him. So just, I mean, this situation is completely life-changing, guys, just, you know, 45 seconds or less. I'm sure minutes after winning, his agent is, it just changes everything if, if any of these golfers win the Masters. His agent's getting calls. Here's a $400,000 deal. Here's Nike on the phone with a $40 million deal. It just, they just become monster celebrities and absolutely rich beyond their wildest dreams. They never have to play another tournament. They never have to do another thing. Every golf course they ever waltz onto says, oh, well, they'll give you the green fees for free. And they'll serve you lunch and dinner. You'll never pay for anything. So again, I used to go through that years ago. Imagine what it would be like standing in his shoes. And yeah, we, it, 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 guys, we are in the body. We will never shed all of these things. We will never be perfect. I'm not going to get gross, but you know what I mean? The body reminds us we're never going to be perfect. But I was, it's not like I was proud of myself, but I'm watching this and I remembered what I would be like 15 years ago watching about, oh, he's at the top of life, the pinnacle of, of life, all the doors that open and the covet and the desire. I remembered what I was watching this and I was kind of proud of myself watching on Sunday because I, I remember them like, well, hey, you know, I don't know if you just, if I just won the golf tournament, I'm not going to say it wouldn't be nice. I mean, we're not going to sit here and fool ourselves and lie to ourselves. It'd be nice. But basically, my thought process now is he don't have shit. He really, in terms of what's important, you know, that big picture, I can look at it now and just say, he don't have shit. I mean, do I even, would I even want to trade place with him, with Nike saying do this and that? I don't even think so. I mean, I couldn't imagine that 10 years ago. And I'm thinking this is, this is part of doing the work. When I used to watch all the golf tournaments, I mean, I watched every single one 10 years ago, used to play more golf. I play a few times with my dad now. I just don't care. But it, I coveted it, the lifestyle. And, and you know, I, I went to a few golf tournaments and when they go to hit balls to practice, they're given brand new balls to hit. And I just, I don't, I watched this guy, John Rahm, and he seems like a nice guy and I wish him the best. But I was just basically thinking, you know, in terms of what's really important on the grand scheme of all there is, he don't have shit. And I was kind of happy or proud of myself to be at that level. Because to me in the past, guys, this is this was the pinnacle. You know, it's nothing, it's not bad to say that a, a, a little kid or a teenager might want to be in the NFL someday or want to be a pitcher in Major League Baseball. These types of things we, we covet, it, it's all a process we go through. Most people never get out of it. We're dropping it. We're leaving it behind. We're C.S. Lewis great divorcing the reality. But I don't know. I'm not going to re-record this. I don't know if it came out right. But 
I'm watching this going. I'm really f- looking at this completely different. You know, hey, it's nice. Wish him the best. But does he really have something special in terms of all that's important? No. And somebody knew where the, the channel would say, man, you just, you little petty losers just make excuses. You'll never have this fame and fortune. You're all a bunch of losers. So you just make excuses that you guys have this spiritual understanding, makes you degenerates feel better as you flop around the bathtub. I, believe what you want. You know what I'm saying. We just don't give a shit about this sort of thing anymore. And um, watching the the ceremony and the little cabin interviews and everything presented by Jim Nance. You know, part of me, again, just saw his whole life changed. Um, but the other side of me says, he hasn't really achieved shit. What did uh, Mel Gibson say? I've seen, oh, the, Robert DeBruce said, I've seen you've been awarded a knighthood. And he says, I've been given, no- I've been given nothing. <laughs> God makes men what they are. This is the tennis player. It says, Sir Andy Murray receives knighthood at Buckingham Palace. And the various pictures. Sometimes the Queen does it. I guess probably only for the CBEs, the real special minions. Sometimes this at the time, Prince uh, Charles. And then sometimes they show William doing... They never let Harry... Harry ain't done nothing. Harry, Harry has knighted the janitorial staff of Buckingham Palace. And Meghan Mar- Markle have, has knighted the uh, the maid service. But other than that, it has to be either William... It has to be the direct line. And then they have to bow down. Bow down. And the sword will come. And they feel so special that their life was so important. I want to ask. I put it to you, Greg. Greg Marmalard from Omega House. I put it to you, anybody listening to the sound of my voice, be honest. You cannot lie to yourself. Would anybody listening to me want to be, uh, is that the magenta trying to bleed through up top on a red carpet? (laughs) Sorry. Matt, stop focusing on that. Okay. Would anybody want this award that's listening to the sound of my voice? I can't imagine if you're here, anybody here would care one bit about getting any of these awards. I don't know, though. It's all different types. Doing the research, you come across stories, bullcrap stories, of people rejected the honor for whatever reason. I mean, just p- part of the whole reality narrative. I don't buy it for a second. John Lennon rejected the honor because he was protesting um, a war or something. A bull- He'd been a puppet from day one. He's never going to be his own man. I don't buy it. The other one was Dave. The big one was David Bowie. Rejected his... OBE award or mailed it back or bull crap. It, it, what it gets you to think is there's another award. There's a creepier, much higher award where they don't let the cameras in. Absolutely, in my opinion. So he has that. And it's all part of the narrative. David Bowie's image has to be David Bowie's image. He serves the system like almost like no other. So I don't buy it for a second. Anybody listening to this that really thinks he rejected it and he's his own man, you've got to be kidding me. You must be new here. Van Morrison, um, most recent album, is like a truth album to a degree. It is like a truth, it is a truth album, very subtly. Uh, Rejects the system and bull crap. He's an OBE, Van Morrison, okay? You don't get OBE. I remember talking about this about two years ago or three years ago, you don't get OBE and then start bitching and complaining about how horrible the system is. No, you don't. If you're going to hold the title of OBE and don't reject it, and it's not legitimate, if you put a kind of a truth album out, you're doing exactly what the system wants, of course. You know, no OBE, or you carry that that metal, you don't get out of line. Shit, you, I'm, I'm still watching Yellowstone. You get that stupid brand. Some guy comes out of prison, you get branded the Yellowstone Ranch for Kevin Costner. You can't get out of line there. You would think the, the these these are much hardcore pipe hitting dudes, the British monarchy, than the Yellowstone Ranch. They keep one fight inside the little house and they went nuts. They went beat the heck out of these two guys. There's no fighting on the Yellowstone Ranch. You don't make a truth album if you OBE, trust me. All right, sorry, been way too focused on the royals and the junk medals that they peddle. I want to talk, in general, the the concept here behind this presentation was all of life's rewards rejected. It's not just little British uh, medals and what did I call it? The OSF, the Order of the Spiritual Flunky. The Nobel Prize is another one. A key to the city is there's millions of ways the society bestows an honor. 
There's the Grammys and the Emmys and the Oscars and there's local things. And if this, if you are a good little minion and you serve this dark reality system, it'll find a way to reward you. It loves to reward its good little minions. What does this say here on, on the bottom right? Of the, why don't popes ever win the Nobel Peace Prize? Well, that's obvious. What, what, for, there's many ways to answer that on the fly. One, what peace are they ever, have they ever promoted? Two, maybe because of the past, a thousand years of bloody battles over, over religion, you know, just the, the past that they carry, the lineage would, should, if this, this, I'm not saying this award is legitimate, of course, none of them are, but why don't popes ever, also, it would be like, it would be like giving a Cracker Jack medal, something at the bottom of the Cracker Jack box, pinning that on to Admiral Byrd, they're much higher than, they're, they're hardcore pipe hit, they're much higher, they don't want no Cracker Jack medal, they hand the shit out, they don't want the shit. Anyway, sorry. You know what? This also reminds me of the copper coins from Sunday's free, vis, free voice video. These are, this is similar to the hand-washing di disinfectant copper coins. In fact, there's kids, the kids that wanted to see the copper coins. I want to see the copper The kids that wanted to see the copper coins, the father actually got a Nobel Prize. They're running around holding this guy's head, running around thinking this is the copper coins that they were promised to see about the hand-washing and the freaking disinfectant and the face mask on the back. So... Here's an interesting question for anybody that wants to comment, that wants to make a prediction or do a little research on this. I'm not going to go dive into everybody that's won a Nobel Prize. But the premise is, is this a rule of this reality in terms of getting this sort of reward from the Not Elk Society? Is there anybody that ever got a Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Prize for Science and Math, I guess for medicine, that served, we'll just say humanity, more than that person served the system itself, okay? Now, if you do a research project, I'm sure you're going to find Nobel Prize winners that actually helped people somewhere, of course. A scientific breakthrough. Medicine, of course, uh, going back how many hundreds of years. Something helped somebody, of course. Uh, even math and science. Uh, but could you argue that that Nobel Prize or whatever the breakthrough was, even medicine, did it serve the system itself more than it ever benefited people, real people? And without doing any research, it almost seems like that would be a rule of this reality and something as associated, a reward associated closely with the dark reality, such as the Nobel Prize. You find me a Nobel Prize winner that just, it, whatever he or she did helped people and really didn't benefit the screen itself, I would be surprised, but I'm not going to not going to go to a research project on it. Just my interpretation of how reality works and regarding the Nobel Prize. Why don't these sons of bitches start a new category for the Nobel Prize? The Nobel Prize for Truth Research. Awarded this the Nobel Prize for Truth and Reality Research. Why don't they ever do something like that that can actually benefit people? I know they don't care about benefiting people. No high this is kind of the premise of the entire presentation. No high level reward that the system can ever bestow is actually out to help people. It's actually out to help and grow the system itself. Oh no, look at this. Look at the top right. Drake. Is he like a rapper or something? I mean, look how pathetic this is. Drake. <laughs> Home for the NBA All-Star Weekend receives key to the city. Now, I'm pretty sure it's Toronto because I remember, I remember watching, you know, that impossible shot where the number nine was below the basket and the number um, 33 was below the basket and pushed against that first number was the number 11 below the basket and the number two, that four, what was it, Kawhi Leonard. And I remember Drake was a big Toronto Raptors fan, so he must have received the key to the city from Toronto. Now, this is, this is a trifecta of patheticism. Is there anything more path pathetic than all these three things together? Drake... NBA basketball, and Toronto's key to the city. I mean, you talk about you put your peanut butter in my chocolate and your chocolate in my peanut butter. This is the, tri the trinity of patheticism. Drake, NBA basketball, and the key to the city of Toronto. I'd almost rather, if, if the key to the city of Toronto showed up in my mailbox, I would bury it in my backyard. What a liberal hellhole that place is trying to turn into. See, I'm an equal opportunity offender of places and cities and countries. France or whatever. The New Yorkers, every time I, I say something about New York, I'll get a comment 
or I'll get an email or something. Matt, stop picking on New York. Stop picking on New York. You stop picking on the New Yorkers. Stop picking on I pick on everybody. I pick on my hometown. I pick on – have you ever heard me pick on Philly? Like all the time. But the New Yorkers, all they hear is me picking on New York. Whatever. Where's the best place to go for happy hour? Learn to speak and I'll stop picking on you. All right. Sorry. Let's not stray too much from the main message here because it is extremely important. Part two the work is more important than seeing through the trick. It's part of almost reality gives itself away series. Could add another line item. A reality that just works a little too hard to bestow awards and recognition to those that serve it. Medals and OBEs and Nobel Prizes and Time Man of the Year and Sports Illustrated has their Athlete of the Year and Keys to the City and uh, all this stuff from the national, state, local level, Oscars and Grammys and this and that and MTV Little Spaceman Astronaut Awards. And I mean, a reality that works this hard, see how it kind of gives itself away? Yeah, it does. Too many awards and all to show the masses what they should emulate all to subconsciously tell the masses this is your hero and look how this hero is that oh no look i didn't see it that's greta <laughs> bottom left is that little thunberg I, matt do it get it out of the way just do it how dare you how, how dare you not accept our key to the city and our time recognition? You know what I'm most proud of in, in the world right now? I'm most proud of never getting recognized in any way by any facet of the minion, not milk, asshole, dark society. Kind of on a separate issue, guys, because I'm looking at, staring at the time person of the year on the right. And um, it, in, in this image, it is the president of Ukraine, Zelensky. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll relate that to Tommy a little bit later, but there are certain points or levels of reality breakdowns where I had to look at reality a whole new way. And even after the big seven uh, 11 job application, there's some other things, some of the bang or mall events uh, just did not add up how this could keep happening with so many thousands and thousands that it would have to be in on it. This, um, Ukraine, let's just say that. Don't need a don't want or desire a banner ad. It was a new level of ha having for me having to look at reality a whole new way. Like what is going on here just doesn't seem possible. If any part of the world we still considered or tried to hold on to as real, um, thought it was not so real going in. But this is you know people would say if you came to me and said this is what's going to be presented via this conflict, I I'd say there's just no way. There would have to be. You know, too many people would have, would be on to it, or I, I doesn't mean there's nobody. They, people are hurting in Ukraine. Okay, there's the segment, the first grade truthers believe it's simply the movie with Robert De Niro, uh, and is it D Dustin Hoffman? The, the first grade truther believes it's simply Wag the Dog. It's just there, you go on out. You if you were to go out there, nothing at all. No, it's not. No, but it's not, of course, what is being presented. It's extremely hard. I almost went away from it. Just it's a reality breakdown. It makes no sense. Um, and it's it's fascinating and it's a bit creepy, and it just fine. It just reinforces my notion that this experience isn't very real. All right, Matt, just do it. Get it out of the way. All right. Thanks, Ray. Thank you, son. I make car parts for the American working man because that's who I am. And that's who I care about. Come into Zelensky's the auto parts king. Just one category of awards. List of film awards. I was looking for awards for actresses, actors, but this came up. This is, it's like a reality breakdown. I mean, this is just one area of where the system shows people that this type of work needs to be rewarded. This list is just larger than I could have ever imagined. List of film awards, international, blah, blah Cannes Film Festival, blah, blah, blah. I'm just scrolling down if you're driving or just, just scrolling endlessly down if you can't see this or you're driving. There's four in Argentina. There's eight or nine in Australia, Bangladesh, Belgium. These are all separate. The Toronto Film Festival, Vancouver Film Festival, two for the Czech Republic, the Trib Triblobit Awards, Denmark, has two different, and they're all separate. It's not like they're just branches of the Oscars. France has four. Hong Kong, India. Look at the Indian awards for film. 
goes on and on and on. Indonesia has two, Ireland, the Dublin film critics circle, Italy has three, Japan, Lebanon. Lebanon is a juggernaut of film, stage, and screen. Lebanon and Beirut. Is Beirut livable? Again, I, I go back and forth. Could you go in there safely now or not? It just, it confuses me. Is They should have a color code. Forget the color code they tried to impose by Tom Ridge after the 7-Eleven job application. Philippines, Portugal, South Korea, Spain, Turkey, United Kingdom, United States. Look at this shit. Look at this list. Alliance of Women Film Journalists, American Film Institute, Atlanta Film Critics Award, Black Film Critics Award, Broad, Broad, Boston Society of Film Critics, Broad, blah, 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 Critics' Choice Movie Awards, Critics Cho- Dallas-Fort Worth Film Critics Association, Denver Film. And there's, there's, a, there's a whole infrastructure, guys, associated with each one. Think just how many, this employs how many, Hawaii Films Critics Society, where at least there's a board where they meet and there's an infrastructure, some sort of building or office, Las Vegas Film Critics Society, thousands and tens of thousands of people associated with with this, all the, the prestige of being associated with it, thinking they're accomplishing something in life. <laughs> the San Francisco Film Critics Circle, the Seattle, oh, come, Uruguay's got one. Vietnam's got one. I mean, look at, it just goes, this is, what is this list? Significant festival awards. Oh, a whole different endless list. This is just film, guys. Reality gives itself away. In the, and it all, it's for the populace. This is not to reward anybody making a film. It couldn't possibly be. Look at all this. It's to show, or to get this out as much as possible, to show, yeah, Conan, what is best in life. Conan representing the populace or the population. Population, what is best in life? To be involved in film, to be honored for those films. You then should go, the Golden Crow Pheasant Award, you should go see those films. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to get the Jakarta International Film Festival Award. Look what I almost glossed over, even Philly. Even Philly's Philadelphia Film Critics Circle Award. And people say I'm not an equal opportunity offender. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in their goddamn meeting. Probably got some little office somewhere down on Passyunk Avenue or something. Everybody here? Who, who wait? Jeet? No, Joe? Yeah, we're going to get some food, bro. Get some Pats and Genos <laughs> brought in here. Where's my glass of water? Who took my... That's not your glass of water. That's my glass of water. Now, the Philadelphia Film Critics Circle Award is unique to the others because the criterion, is it criteria, 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 criterion is the singular. The criteria is rather unique when they all get together and they meet and they, no smoking in here. No, there's no smoking in here. Give me, where's your water? Um, What is the criteria for the Philadelphia Film Critics Circle Award? Number one, was there a Rocky movie this year? Because that gets it. Was there another rock? What do we have to Rocky 25? Was there, a, or Creed? Or was there Rocky or Creed? Because that gets it. No Rocky or Creed? Okay, was there an M. Night Shyamalan movie? Because that son of a beach. Hey, he tries to associate everything with Philly. I was actually proud of that back in the day. Right after Signs, then he got absolutely horrible. Everything he ever did, M. Night Shyamalan, got absolutely horrible. I would hope he would make his movies elsewhere. Get out of the city, M. Night. But they will award him if he has made a movie. Other than that, the only other criteria is there a cheesesteak anywhere, either mentioned in the movie or bitten into. And if they're really desperate, if the cheesesteak just sits on a plate, that qualifies the movie for the Philadelphia Film Critics Circle Awards. That's exactly how they do it. Every single, it don't matter if there's a new Gone with the Wind. It don't matter if there's a new Star Wars. That's the way they pick their films. Philly does it differently. Thanks for listening.